This is a NanoFlowX video showing how to coat these boards in our V2 solution. The biggest plus to our nano coating is besides the fact that it's super thin, these display ports, this power tech switch on this board right here, and all of these components, no masking is required. I will show the process and the orientation that it is required for these to be coated in to use our no masking required method. I will show the drying method and I will also show the uh, proficiency and the incredible working power of our V2 solution, which is offered on nanoflowx.com. And then I will show a booted up TV showing how even after it's all been coated, it still works. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the dipping process. So this one, the most sensitive component is the display port. So we will be draining it from this side, but we will also be draining it upside down because of this port right here and this port over in this side to allow uh, the maximum amount of solution to run off of this board and not sit in those connectors. So this, or this is the orientation we will be dipping it in. Also, before we even get started, it is important that you wipe this all off with at least 70% ISO alcohol. The other good thing about this is this V2 bath can allow multiple boards to be coated at the same time. The board that turns on and off the power, we will have the tack switch right here on the bottom because it's the most sensitive component. You want that to be able to turn on and off. So you will dip it in this orientation and then you will drain it from this orientation out from where the connector will go in. So leave it this way and then we'll drain it this way at a 45 degree angle for about five seconds. So while it is not necessary, I like to use a filter when pouring my V2 solution onto these boards. This is because you can reuse our solution several times. So this one has coated many boards and you want the solution to be as clean as possible. So even though I filtered it going into here, I will filter it again as I pour it over this board. And this is a 100 or 90 micron uh, filter and the funnel, just a regular funnel. And I'm gonna pour until this V2 solution is completely submerging the boards. Okay, so as this one has a lot of air bubbles in it, we need to let it sit in the solution until the air bubbles are gone. So you can see a lot better now, those air bubbles need to stop leaving the board before we let it drain. That's the way we know that the solution has gotten into every little bit that it needs to get into and has completely coated the board and provided an excellent coating for the IP67, 68 rating. Okay, so this board has been submerged for five to 10 seconds. So now we will be taking it out and draining it first from the side with the most sensitive component. So 45 degree angle on the other side of this board, on the underside obviously, is the display port. That's one of the most sensitive components. So we drain for about five to seven seconds from those display ports, 45 degree angle. Remember to only touch the edges of the board so that the uniformity of the coating can be preserved. And then the USB ports last. Okay, and then we are going to place this on the PCB rack in this orientation, the same orientation that we dipped it in. 
Same with this one. As I said before, we will drain it from this connector first. Okay, so this one is pretty simple. There's not too many sensitive components on it, but we still want to make sure we have a good drain. So first we drain from this orientation, 45 degree angle. There are a lot of places where the solution can get trapped. So after we drain for about five to seven seconds, we're gonna switch sides and you'll see that a lot of solution was trapped on some of these components. Okay, and since this one has only components on one side, we can let it drain and dry at the same time from this and this orientation. So we'll dry it like this. This is how they all look together on the PCB rack. And I will show them being put into an oven at 80 degrees Celsius to be dried for two to five minutes. So here's our drying oven, set at about 80 degrees Celsius. And inside we have our boards drying for two minutes. Since the boards are for the most part, not that sensitive, two minutes is a good time to, for them to dry. Here are V2 coated TV boards installed on this HDTV with water being sprayed on them. Here is some more water being sprayed on. Everything is working just fine. To inquire about coding high volume process, learn more or schedule a meeting, visit nanoflowx.com.